Hey guys, so today I finally get to film a video that I've been wanting to film for ages, literally since the beginning of February, and it's my February favourites. Um, there's just so many new products I've discovered this month that I'm so excited to share with all of you. Now, before I get started, it's pretty sunny outside, so I might be squinting a little bit, but it's actually very good lighting for the video, so I shall make do. Um, and apologies for the hair, it's decided to just go ultimate frizzy today. I don't know why. But anyway, so I'm really excited to get into it, so I shall just dive into it. This might be a long video because there's a lot of products. But anyway, okay, I'll start off with just plain makeup. I have some hair products and I also have some skin products this month, so. Okay, first off, I'll start with eyes. Um... I've been really liking the False Lash Telescopic um, Mascara by L'Oreal. Now, I still love the Bourjois Volume Fast and Perfect, the one that rotates. I adore this because it makes it so much quicker. But I've been trying this out um, because I wanted to be te I'm testing it for my blog. And I do actually really like this. It reminded me why I like the original Telescopic in the first place. Next are two of the Chanel Illusion, Illusion d'Ombre eyeshadow things um, in the colours Epiton which is a khaki olive green love this, I wore this out last night, it was amazing um, and the second one is one I can never pronounce Illusoire um, and this is kind of like a taupey purpley grey colour I love this. The thing I love about these, I love the packaging, they're glass, they feel so sleek and just they just feel really expensive and just really good quality and like I said I wore Epitant out last night on its own like no shadow to set it and I went out um like clubbing and I was out, I, I put it on what like 9.30, 9 and I didn't get home until like 2ish so I didn't end up taking it off to like 2, 2.30 and not a single crease, not a single smudge, my eye makeup looked amazing still um, and actually it's inspired me to do a video that will be coming up soon, it's like makeup that I found is best for wearing out, like on a night out or long lasting makeup so I love these, tempted to pick up some more, they are absolutely amazing, I wish there was a wider colour range though um, but these absolutely amazing. Then we have two eyeliners. First one is from Avon. It's a Super Shock eyeliner, but it's in the colour Blackberry. Now, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. It's kind of a really dark, maroony brown. It's a similar kind of colour to Avenue Fluid Line from MAC. And again, I don't know how well you're going to see that. Um, but it has the same amazing formula as the black one. It stays on all night, but it's a slightly... Um, softer because it has the brown tones in it. I think this is limited edition though so if you want one you're going to have to get your hands on it quickly. Um, but yeah, really like that. And the second one is the Super Liner Black Lacquer um, liner from L'Oreal in Black Vinyl. Now, these has been out for ages but I've only ever... I tried the one that I had in Hong Kong, just the Super Liner and that was pretty good. But this one lasts like no other. Again, I wore this last night and my eyeliner was perfect and that never happens. Um, so I'm really impressed with this. It stays, like, it stays put and when it does come off, it flakes off, it doesn't smudge, so... And it's actually really, it's, it's, you have to rub a bit to get it off at the end of the night, which I don't mind because that's how good it is. And I love the brush again, it makes it very easy for application. This is the NUA Clear Mascara, or well, it used to be clear. I've been using this on my brows just to set them. Um, because I usually use a brow pencil or a powder and sometimes that can make them look a bit too drawn on but with when you add the mascara it gives them a bit more texture um, and also helps them stay in place so and this is a quid it's really worth getting um, I've been loving lots of colors um, from MAC and I've been keeping them in this Z, Z palette Z palette um, just for easy access because I have five MAC palettes now and it's just a bit like uh, scrambling in the morning. Um, particular favourites at the moment are Floof. I wear this absolutely, I've been wearing this absolutely every day this month. 
and which is very unusual for me because I really like to shake it up but this and another eyeshadow I'm going to mention I can't stop wearing this just all over the lid and another one in the crease it's a perfect colour for me um, is this quarry? no, espresso espresso is a really nice colour for the crease as well and what was the other one? Oh yeah, these two, patina and sumptuous olive. Haven't haven't worn sumptuous olive for a while before this, but it goes really well with the Epitar um, shadow from Chanel. So yeah, loving those. Um, and the shadow I wear floof with, which is a shadow I cannot get enough of, and I don't know why it took me so long to get this. And probably one of my all-time favourite shadows now is Ashes to Ashes from Nars. Now for a while, uh, for, the main reason I didn't pick this up is because I have satin taupe and it seemed similar enough, but there's just something about this, it's just absolutely breathtaking. I've been wearing it a lot on my outfit of the day posts on my blog, so go check those out, I'll link the blo my blog below. And my favourite brush to apply this this month has been my MAC 286, which came out with the Naturally Collection. I think they've made it permanent though, it's like a duo fibre crease brush, it's absolutely gorgeous, this, this. A dream honestly I just it's so perfect in that so I haven't changed my makeup for like a month I've just been doing the same eyes and they're amazing okay moving on to face makeup first every day I've been using my dream nude air foam um, foundation from Maybelline in light beige it's been requested for me to do a review um, so I'll do that but I've also done a tutorial using this um, and I'll link that somewhere um, yeah, I love this. It's really nice, really light, good coverage, and it's just fun. You just get huge foam on you. It's just fun. Um, so, <laughs> love this. This has been my favourite this month. <clears throat> I have quite a few NARS products because um, if you watch my, if you've been watching my hauls, I've been going a bit NARS crazy. Oh, I forgot to do one with the eyes. Sorry, it's the same size as the blush, so it gets me confused. This is the duo in Violetta, and I've been particularly liking this shade here. It's really nice for um, in the crease, like defining in the crease. You probably won't be able to see it, but I've been really liking that. Anyway, now back to face. <laughs> um, first is Super Orgasm, which I got a sample sent to me. Um, when I spent a certain amount, it was like a code. They've changed it now, so you get a free mini orgasm, um, free mini orgasm illuminator. But now, but when I bought it, some items. Sorry, I'm rambling. When I bought some items, this is what I got free. Same as size as my eyeshadow, which is fine with me. Um, but this is really pretty. Sorry, I'm getting a bit tongue-tied. Um, then the blush Gaty. I don't know how you say it. Um, from the spring collection this is a really pretty bubblegum pink but it's not too it's not too pigmented where it's like ah oh, you're a clown I'm gonna swatch it quite heavily so you can see it because it might be getting washed out I hope it's not but really pretty it reminds me of Saint Germain or Lady Gaga lipstick but love this um, and the last one from NARS is my Torrid and Albatross duo Torrid's just really pretty. I have to do it quite lightly, otherwise I can look a bit crazy. But really like that. And I actually find myself quite liking Albatross. I don't usually like to put much powder on my face simply because I have really dry skin. But Albatross is so pretty. I never really got the hype before, but now I've got it. It's gorgeous. So those are those two. Hopefully you can see that. Sorry if you can't. The sun's like beaming on me. Um, then, three more blushes. First one is Coralista. Don't know again why it took me so long to buy this. I kind of ignored everyone saying it was amazing for some reason. And um, But anyway, love this. And it smells really nice. Every time I open the box, I'm like, it's a really sweet smell. Really gorgeous, and I think this will complement anyone's skin tone. And um, then from NARS, I have the Orgasm Illuminator. Um, what strikes me about this, <laughs> I actually haven't used that much. It just comes like this, I think, unless I got cheated. Um, but yeah, I've, I haven't used too much, but I didn't use this for a while because I didn't really know how to. But the other day, 
um, I tried it out and it's absolutely gorgeous, such a dewy finish, oh, amazing, especially if you have dry skin, it's really, really pretty on the cheeks, obviously you can wear it with any skin, but if you have oily skin, you may want to be avoiding the dewy look, this gives you a very dewy finish, um, but yeah, gorgeous. And the last blush is from Avon. I still love the soft plum blush, but I've mentioned that before, so I didn't think I'd bring it up again. But it's the colour in it's the colour russet. I love the formulation of Avon blushes; they're absolutely gorgeous. They're so buttery. Now this one's I have to be quite careful with. It's like a brick red colour. Um, but if I do it right with like a really like with a duo fibre brush or something, this can look really pretty. Um, and I also love the packaging. This bit's a bit of a waste of time where the brush comes, but I love the big mirror. <laughs> sorry if I blinded you, which I probably did twice, because, the... sorry. Um, then we go to lip products. Now, this may be a surprise, because I usually don't wear lip products. I don't have the patience for them. I just don't like feeling anything on my lips. But the colours I have selected this month will you'll probably understand why because they're ones that you don't necessarily feel. Uh, the first one is one I got on my lips today. It's the Lasting Finish A Thousand Kisses um, Transfer Proof Lip Tint, Lip Tint and Balm Rimmel, from Rimmel and it's in the colour 100 Endless Blossom. Now I used to think the Maybelline ones were my favourite um, and I still do love them but these ones smell like sherbet. Maybelline ones don't smell this good. These ones just smell amazing. I can't resist the smell. Sorry, this light is really annoying me. Hope you can still see this. Okay, let me check with my Avon mirror. This is usually my guide. Stick it behind. Yeah, it's quite bright, isn't it? There we go. Okay. Okay, I've repositioned a bit um, because the light's getting too much. I hope. I wasn't too washed out before, but it's hard to tell whether I just have my camera, I don't have one of those flip screens, so I can't actually see what's going on, so I have to play it by ear. But anyway, back to lips. Second one is a cream puff moisturising lip cream from Collection 2000. I adore these. They go on um, wet and then they dry down, but they don't go, they don't make your lips dry. Um, they're like liquid, um, they're like liquid lipsticks and they smell amazing. They smell like icing. Oh. Um, the only problem is I wish they did more colours because I think they only do four, three or four. Um, and this is the only one that I think will suit me, so. But really like this. This one is a Doo Wop Venom Gloss. I got this in this month's Glossy Box. Um, and I really like this. It's in the colour butter Buttercup. And it looks like a colour that wouldn't suit me but it's really sheer so it's just a very, it's almost a um, clear transparent gloss but it has um, a pump, plumping thing in it and I've never tried a plumping lip gloss so it's quite fun um, and yeah I like this actually I'm not a very lip gloss person but I do like this. Next are a group of products <laughs> and I'm doing, I'm currently in the process of doing a blog post about them and they're Pout Paint slash OCC Lip Tars I've got a few here. Um, I have got six pound paints and five lip tars. Um, and I love wearing these. I wore, what did I wear out last night? I wore, was it Trollop? I think I wore Trollop last night and it looked so cute. I loved it so. And it lasted pretty much all night. Um, yeah, so. And I was drinking and stuff, so it was, it was pretty good. Um, so, love these. I'm going to be doing a more intensive blog post about them. Um, so, I won't say too much. Okay, moving on. That's the end of like the makeup section. Now, I'm going to do skin and just body stuff. I don't know. And then I have some hair stuff. First, I love the Lynx Attract for Her Deodorant Body Spray. Love it so much that I bought a backup because it says it's limited edition. Um, it's just a really sweet, really nice smell. I've always liked Lynx um, deodorants and my little sister loves them as well. She just gets the guys ones. The chocolate ones is amazing. 
um, but yeah, love this. It's so it's almost like watermelon. I don't know, it's really spring, uh, like springy. I keep wanting to say springy, but that doesn't make sense. It's just really like suitable for spring. It's just really fresh, so I love this. It's quite floral and fruity. Next is my Johnson's Daily Essentials Nourishing 24 Hour Day Cream with SPS 15 for dry skin. Used this for the first part of the month before I moved on to something else, but I still love this. Um, the other part of the month I was using something else and I'm trying it out, so I wanted to just use that continuously, but I'm definitely gonna go, uh, I'm definitely love this and gonna continue using this. So that's amazing. Um, the thing I'm talking about is the Be Right Benefit um, skincare range, which was suggested to me by Katie Elizabeth 21. Hi. Um, she's amazing, go check her out if you haven't already. Okay, so hopefully my lighting is better now. I had to fiddle around with it a bit because the sun's coming straight in that way, so I've kind of had to rotate a bit. But actually, as I was saying, um, the beautiful Katie Elizabeth 21 um, told me that you can get this little set on ASOS um, for £10 and you can try out the majority of the skincare range. Now, there are six items, two are in my shower. Um, and I've been trying them out as you can see that's why I haven't been using my Johnson's cream but so far I'm really liking these um, I'm gonna give it I'm basically gonna use them until they run out and then make my mind up I probably won't purchase every thing again but um, so far I'm liking the toner um, and the face emulsification emulsion emulsification face emulsion sorry and the scrub um, so We'll see, and it also comes with a really handy bag. So that was £10 off of ASOS. I'm sure you can still get it. Next is, uh, sorry, next are two shower products. The first of which is um, from Philosophy. Now my little sister got me a set for Christmas, which included this, um, a body cream of this flavour, and a lip gloss of this flavour, and it's the Melting Marshmallow Shampoo, Shower Gel, and Bubble Bath and it's the 120 ml version so perfect size and it smells so good to me it smells like chocolate sorry to me it smells like chocolate um kind of like rocky road ice cream um anyway oh, i love this it's what there have been two products in my life, two shower products in my life that I've actually been tempted to eat. This and Laura Mercier's creme brulee um, line. It's so good. So I absolutely love this. Um, I don't know if it was just around Christmas or if you can get it all year round, but I will be repurchasing this. The next one is something I got in my glossy box and it's the Invigorate Shower Gel um, from Como Shambhala. You can see I've been using this as well. I kind of alternate between these two. I really like this. It's just there's something weird about it. Like it has okay, well it has eucalyptus, geranium, lavender, and peppermint. And I find that if I use it in the morning, the eucalyptus and peppermint really wakes me up and gets me going. But if I use it at night, the geranium and lavender kind of help me to relax. So it almost has like that soothing get to sleep scent, but also that get up and go scent which is very strange but I, somehow it does um, so I've been liking that and from Enspa which is um, a company that kind of looks like their packaging looks like philosophy I have this raspberry milkshake body cream and this again smells so good I only opened it this month and it smells more like raspberry yogurt but I don't care it smells so I could just eat this. Um, and spa, I believe you can get pretty much anywhere. I think you can get it in supermarkets. Um, so yeah, love that. The last body um, item is one I picked up recently and I really like. Um, I have really, really dry skin. I don't just have it on my face. Uh, my All my skin is dry and it's sometimes quite sensitive. So when I spotted this Garnier body lotion, um, I really wanted to try it out and what it is, it says new gel cream texture and it absorbs a lot quicker than cream does which is really good because I hate it when you've just lathered yourself up and then you just, like you know like all with cream and then you just like you just it just doesn't sink in 
and also um, it has the nicest smell it smells like peaches um, and what this is supposed to do is if you use it like continuously um, for four weeks your skin still feels intensely hydrated for up to seven days after the last application um, which if that works I need it um, because my legs and stuff are just constantly dry um, so I've been using this and so far I really like it so finally on to hair products um, I have five products for you guys to show you guys um, the first two are I, le I use in the shower the first one and oh, sorry and I kind of alternate between them the first one being from Aussie it's the three minute miracle reconstructor de con deep conditioner and my hair just gets super knotty um, I actually have to, for some reason my hair gets really knotty at the top more so than at the bottom I have to put way more on the top of my hair than I do on the bottom like of conditioner so that's one and the other one is from Herbal Essences and it's a smooth and soft centrously smoothing intensive mask and I just use these in place of a conditioner because um, my hair is also quite dry um, and what this is, is just like a hair mask you leave it on for like three five minutes and what I used to do is I shampoo my hair then I put this on and then I do everything else while it's in my hair like you know wash shave whatever and rinse this off last thing before I get out of the shower and again this smells really good all the herbal essence stuff smells really good so that's nice um, and then another Aussie product is the luscious long leave-in conditioner um, so like I said my hair gets really knotty and if I still have some knots that I can't get out after I've washed it or I actually often I spritz my whole hair with this and get all the knots out before I get in the shower because otherwise it could take me hours um, <laughs> especially with the wind here and all my hair it's crazy but I love this um, and this is really just really handy and the last two products are hair oils. The first being the Moroccan Argan Oil. Um, it's been requested me, for me to do a review of this, so I will. Um, so I'm not going to get into it too much, but it just leaves my hair feeling so soft and I think shinier. Um, what I do is I just get a bit on my hand, say like a... I usually put... Well, depending on how much hair you have and how long your hair is I usually put about 50p coin amount on my hand and then I just work it from my roots down to my ends just when my hair is damp and then I brush it through so it um, kind of gets all through all my hair um, so that's really good that's from Organics and you can get that in Boots um, and Superdrug the next one is again from my Glossy Box I really love this month's Glossy Box I know lots of people are disappointed with it but I really love it um, and it's the Awapui, Awapui um, Wild Ginger Styling Treatment Oil from Paul Mitchell. I don't like ginger, but the wild ginger's okay. It, it smells quite nice. And again, I'd use this the same way as I use this, and it just makes my hair really nice and soft. Sorry, I really need to turn my phone on silent um, <laughs> in these videos. So yeah, that's the last product. If you guys enjoyed, um, I've been so excited waiting to film this video because I really, um, I really like sharing all my new favourites with you guys. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Bye!